Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brighton and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and whatnot. And guys, I'm finally back from visiting family. I was in Michigan for about two weeks. And while I was there, I did catch a cold. Guys, it was freezing. Freezing. I felt like I was in like Antarctica or somewhere. Guys, it was like below nine. It was like below two. Like some of the days like were like a high of nine. It, it was crazy. Um, I did catch a cold. You can probably hear it in my voice. Um, we're going to push through because I needed a video for tomorrow. <laughs> but today, guys, I have a thread up mixed jewelry box that I'm going to be unboxing. And then I'm also going to be filling you guys in on my 1K giveaway. You guys have been awesome. You guys got me to 1K. And I want to show my appreciation by doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And details on that will be later in the video. May not be in the end. May be in the middle. Who knows? So you better stick around and watch. All right. So this is a thread up um, mixed jewelry box. Um, this one did come from um, Phoenix. This one came from Phoenix. I don't know if I can get that in there close enough. My backdrop just went flying away. Um, this came from Phoenix. Maybe I can show you here. There we go. This one did come from Phoenix. So that is interesting. I've only ever gotten Phoenix, I think, maybe once, maybe twice at the most. Let's see. I bought this back on January the 14th. So January the 14th, that was about a month ago. Um, so yeah, so January the 14th. And these boxes, now guys, here's the kicker. This box, when I bought it, was $48. Okay. Well, if you go on the ThreadUp website right now, the mixed jewelry boxes are now $54. They went up $6. Um, so yeah, so just letting you guys know, if the mixed jewelry pops up for you guys, the price did increase. They are $54 now plus shipping and tax. So we have a cute little sticker. This is Thrifty Things. If I remember correctly, Arizona is actually pretty good. They're not the best. I think Georgia has the best jewelry boxes. Um, but I believe Arizona is like second place. Mechanicsburg's last place, 1,000%. Mechanicsburg sucks. Um, but, ooh, I see something good wrapped hands and J. Crew. Um, I do see some new on the card things. If I remember correctly... I don't remember getting a lot of new attack stuff from Arkansas. I remember, I remember it, not Arkansas, Arizona. I do remember um, getting a lot of branded items. I just don't remember it being new attacks. So let's get started. Looks like a lot of necklaces, which I appreciate. Um, this is a loft. This is a gold tone. This is like a half rose quartz, half mother of pearl. Little medallion um, pendant. Really pretty. I like that a lot. And it has a nice length. And, um, yeah, that's nice. Oh, let's play the game. I always play when I do these mixed jewelry boxes. Would I have picked that up at a thrift store? We're in each piece for about $3.50 ish. Um, would I have paid, let's round up to $4. Would I have paid $4 for this? I don't know. Probably not. However, it is definitely listable. Okay, next we have a ring and I believe that says Bay Bay time Bay I don't know I do not recognize that font um like it's not a recognizable logo for me um the ring itself is just marked with an eight so I'm assuming this is a size eight ring let's see it's snug I would say more of a seven and three quarters to seven and a half mm, um my fingers could be a little off um that's pretty again it's not marked anything except for eight so i will have to look this brand up would i have paid four dollars for this at a thrift store no unless it ends up being really good then maybe next we have another piece this looks like a j crew maybe 
It's actually very lightweight. Um, this is a, oh, I think that's the limited. The limited, yes. So that is like their little, little hang tag. And then it says it on the other side. So this is the limited. It is like a pretty, I want to say like a dark teal, medium teal color, almost grayish with these really pretty green rhinestones. So really pretty. This style of necklace with like the um, built in like hard collar, they don't always seem to do the best. So this might sit for a minute or two, but it's still really nice and it's definitely sellable. Would I have paid $4 for this at a thrift store? Probably not. All right, let's move on. Um, ooh, this looks like Brighton. That looks like a Brighton butterfly. And it is, guys. Okay, this is a Brighton. That is the Brighton B. And this is also their signature clasp. If you see this clasp, it is Brighton. Um, however, most Brighton pieces are marked when it comes to necklaces and bracelets. The um, Brighton does not mark their earrings. So a lot of times um, you just have to just research. So that is just a gorgeous, stunning little butterfly pendant. Kind of a lariat style a little bit. Um... Would I have bought this at a thrift store? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love Brighton. Brighton is my, I believe I want to say my top selling brand in my Poshmark closet. I have 100% sell through rate with Brighton. Every piece that I have listed has sold as of right now. Um, so yeah, so a piece of Brighton, I would have most definitely picked that up for $4. Next we have some Lana and Lily, which is that a Macy's brand or is that JCPenney? Can't remember but their their jewelry is really nice it looks abalone it is a macy's and it retailed for i don't know because they ripped it off but they are like a crushed abalone shell faceted center dangle earrings kind of like a kendra scott kind of vibe to it um i probably would have passed on those as well however again it is most definitely a sellable item so i am loving all these sellable pieces Next piece is the limited. And unfortunately, these are missing a rhinestone. So that is unfortunate. They are the limited new on the card. Again, the price has been um, ripped off. They are really pretty. And unfortunately, the rhinestone is not in the bag. And I don't think ThreadUp would do anything for me if I contacted them. I have had to contact them before in the past. And it is very hit or miss if they will actually help you or not. So I'm going to put that in the no pile. I definitely would not pick those up. And they are damaged. Okay. Next, we have a pair of Kendra Scott earrings. I'm assuming. And with Kendra Scott, they are usually marked on the side. Um, these are not marked. However, I would bet this whole box that these are Kendra Scott. They have a nice weight to them. They have very nowhere on the prongs. A lot of times the knockoff Kendra Scott will have a lot of wear. Um, this feels like a Kendra Scott piece. Um, so I am 100% comfortable saying that these are Kendra Scott. It is like a light gray, opaque, translucent um, gray color, like a cat's eye maybe. So I would have definitely picked those up for $4. Kendra Scott, that specific style of Kendra Scott doesn't always resell for the most and kind of sits for a minute. However, it is Kendra Scott um, and it will sell. So we have a J. Crew, possibly, maybe not. Yes, J. Crew. Um, it's definitely a different style of J. Crew. I would have said this was like a Brighton or a Chico's piece. But yes, it is a J. Crew. It is a leather, I'm assuming, cord, a waxed leather. And it is a Lariat adjustable length chain. So, um, I probably would have passed on this $4. Mm, for $4, I probably would have picked it up because I had the dust bag. So, for $4, yeah, I probably would have bought that. Okay, ooh, this is stunning. I love that. Wow, I love this. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this piece. This is a, oh, it's tangled. So let's see if I can untangle it. Hmm. Okay, so it is a little caught right here on the 
chain is caught inside the pendant right here. But I will work on that. This is a The Limited. So we have another The Limited piece. Nice gold tone chain. It's nice and thick and nice feeling. And that pendant is just absolutely gorgeous. It's stunning. So I probably, I, because I like this, I would have bought this strictly because I really liked it. Yes, I would have picked this piece up at a thrift store. All right, we have a, another piece. Ooh, this looks like Kendra Scott. We'll do that next. Okay, we have another The Limited. We have another The Limited necklace. This is a gold, like a, almost like a brown gunmetal and like an ombre facet glass bead. It's really nice. Um, it's on the shorter end. I want to say this is probably a little bit just below the collar length, but it's really pretty. I like those colors together, the gold and the brown and the ombre beads. That's pretty. I would have not picked that up for $4 at a thrift store, but again, it is sellable. So I'll put that over there. Okay, this looks like Kendra Scott. A little hang tag on there okay this is kendra scott this is marked kendra scott right there and that is her logo and it is a gold tone y necklace and it has like little coral or twig if you want to say stations on it so there's some right here all right, not sure what happened there. I My camera cut off on me, but I was showing off this Kendra Scott necklace, and I was showing that there are little like little twigs or little pieces of coral, branch coral, um, throughout the necklace, and it goes into a Y, and then it has like this little um, dangle with the little branch coral on it, or branch, I'm not sure. So this is a really nice, very like delicate um Kendra Scott necklace and I would have most definitely bought this at a thrift store for four dollars absolutely this may even be maybe like a, a more rare to um rare or hard to find piece maybe not sure but since my camera decided to turn off there let's go ahead and pause the unboxing and get into my giveaway all right so let's go over the rules for the giveaway all you have to do is like the video um, be subscribed to my channel and comment 1k. It can be any combination of other words with 1k. It can be great box. Congrats on 1k. And it could be just 1k. It can be, um, I love your channel, blah, 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 1k. It just needs to have one and k, one word, 1k, um, to be in the comment because when I pull the winner, I'm going to go, I'm going to filter it through comments that have the word 1K in the comments. So you just have to like the video, make sure you're subscribed and comment any variation, any other words, but it just must include 1K in the comment. And you're like, okay, so those are the rules. Well, what am I going to win? So it's only fitting since I'm opening up a thread up mixed 15 piece box that I'm going to be giving away a mystery mixed 15 piece box, but I don't want it to be a crappy box. I don't want to like get a box and send it to you and it'd be absolute crap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to curate you a box. So the winner, after I announced the winning, the, the person who won the giveaway, you have 72 hours to email me. If you do not email me within 72 hours, we will redraw. And in that email that you, well, first you just send me an email saying, oh my gosh, thank you so much, whatever. Whatever you wanna say, that's fine. I just need to know that you are a real person and that you are there. Um, and, oops, sorry guys. Um, after you send me the email, I will respond back to your email with, this is what I need from you. I need your address. I need your name. And I need to customize this customized 15 piece box, the curated 15 piece jewelry box. I need your favorite colors. I need your favorite jewelry tones. I need your favorite jewelry styles. 
Um, you know, what do you wear on the day to day? Um, are you a reseller? Are you just buying? Are you, are you just like a jewelry fanatic like myself? So those are what the, the uh, um, questions I will ask you after I announce the giveaway winner. And I'll go over that again when I, when we do pull the winner, but just to be entered into the giveaway, like the video, comment and be subscribed. That's it. Um, and again, you'll be winning a fully curated 15 piece jewelry box that I'm going to create for you. And again, it will, I will try my best to find pieces that I think you will like. So now that we get through that, um, let's go ahead and finish my unboxing. So these are a necklace. So we have a little necklace that is a U.S. Marines necklace. Um, I may hold on to this piece um, because my um, grandfather was a Marine. And this is sterling silver metal. And the chain is silver plated. So silver plated um, pendant with a sterling silver um, medallion metal. So I will probably hold on to this. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to hold on to this just as a little keepsake. Um, so I will hold on to that. Would I have paid $4 for this? Yes, I would have. Um, next piece is a bracelet. It is pretty. Um, let me just make sure all of these stones are there. They do seem to be there. So this is a silver tone faux pearl little lariat bracelet. This is fully adjustable. Um, I believe, yes, it is fully adjustable. I will use Google Lens to see if I can figure out a maker on this because this is not marked. However, this does have some nice weight to it. It is definitely a nice piece. It's definitely not like a crappy piece of jewelry. So I will um, Google Lens this and just see who the maker is. That is nice, but I would not have paid $4 for it. Um, next piece is definitely gives me um, like very royal um, colors. Um, and this is like royal tones. This is nice. So they're like almost like jelly beans. Um, like acrylic glass. I'm not sure. It is gold tone with all of these really pretty colored links. We have purple and green and red. Um, they almost have like a cat's eye look to them, but I do not believe they are a cat's eye. It is on a gold tone chain. Um, and it is a double layer and it is a Talbot's. So we have a Talbot's necklace. Again, really pretty with like the little jelly bean stations with all the different royal colors. Um, Talbot's doesn't really do the best for me. It is in a brand and it is expensive retail. But I probably would have passed on that piece for $4. And then we have our last piece and it looks like a J. Crew. We will see. Um, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. It is very, t oh, no, it's not. It is not J. Crew. Okay, this is very tangled. Okay, I got it untangled. No, I did not. All right. All right, so we have this really, really pretty, very J. Crew, you know, looking necklace with these um, almost like citrine yellow faceted stones with the clear and the gray, like opalescent AB coated rhinestones. And it is on a double layer antique gold tone chain. And it is the limited. So we have a little limited necklace. Um, this is another piece where it probably is not going to sell for a ton. But I just like the style. I love like these, you know, blingy rhinestone necklaces. I probably would have picked this up for $4 just because I like it. So I would have picked that up for $4. So that is my box. Let's do a quick overview. Let's go over the pieces I would have picked up. I would have picked up this um, U.S. Marines necklace. I would have picked up this J. Crew necklace. I most definitely love this little um, bright necklace. 100% I love that piece. Love that. 
Um, definitely would have picked up this Kendra Scott, like a branch coral, almost looking necklace. I would have picked up these unmarked Kendra Scott earrings. It's right there. I would have picked up this, um, the limited necklace just because I love the rhinestones on it. And I would have picked up this, the limited necklace, just because I love the rhinestones on it. So those are the pieces I would have bought. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven pieces I definitely would have bought. Um, and let's see what um let's see how many other pieces I got. So we did get the broken, the limited. That makes eight. We got this limited necklace, that is nine. We got this unbranded bracelet that makes 10. We have this um was this the limited which makes 11. We have this little ring that makes 12. We have the Lana and Lily that make 13. We have the mother of pearl and the rose quartz possibly necklace that was was loft that makes 14 and then we have the limited necklace that makes 15 so we received exactly 15 pieces no extras unfortunately but that's okay um i might reach out to customer service about the broken earrings but honestly i don't expect anything um but yeah, overall, good box. Not the greatest box I've ever received. Definitely not the worst. So I can't wait to research some of these pieces. Like I said, I think this Brighton is really good. And I think this Kendra Scott necklace is really good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep the Marie necklace and everything else besides the broken earrings. Should be listed in my Poshmark closet eventually. Which again is linked in my description. My Poshmark is linked in the description. My Mercari is linked in the description. And my Whatnot is linked in the description. Also guys, I do want to do some shout outs in my videos. So I want to shout out a different maybe YouTube creator. It doesn't have to be per se the same um, content that I do. It does not have to be jewelry unboxings. But I do want to show, um, share the love and get some subscribers to some creators that may not have as big of a following as I do. Again, it took me quite a while to get to 1K. Um, so I want to help out some other creators to reach their 1K goal as well. So each um, video, I'm going to try and shout out a new channel. If you would like your channel shouted out, Go ahead and drop that in the comments as well. That does not have to be in the same comments as the 1K. You can do two separate comments or it can be in one comment. That's one, totally up to you. Um, whatever you feel like commenting. But if you like a little shout out, just put in the comments and I will, I'll pick an, um, a name um, or maybe multiple names. I don't know per video. So that is that. Again, if you want to be entered into my giveaway, like the video, comment, any comment mix that you would like that just must include 1k in the comments and be subscribed that is it guys i am going to rest my throat i am going to gargle some epsom salts and um take a ricola <laughs> so i will see you in the next one thank you thank you thank you again for 1k i appreciate all of you i will see you in the next one bye guys